A database is an organized way of storing information. It helps us to manage excess large amount of information quickly and efficiently. Let's understand better with an example. Unknowingly, we all use database in our daily life. We maintain our personal address diaries in which we record addresses and telephone numbers of our friends. We maintain the information alphabetically so that whatever any information is needed. We browse and extract the information quickly. From time to time, we keep on adding new addresses. We also update the old addresses. If our friends change their living place, all these operations that we perform like adding, updating, sorting, editing, deleting, etc. are the functions of the database. Telephone diary, a dictionary, maintaining a list of students and their addresses, keeping their records pertaining to academic and co-curricular achievement. List of grocery items in a grocery store. List of books and authors in a library. List of different customers in a bank. Maintaining employees, information in offices and organizations, etc. are examples of different types of database. Quickly give me any real-life examples of database apart from the given one. It is very difficult to maintain a database manually when there are hundreds and thousands of records. The chances of making mistakes increase. A computerized record keeping system that allows us to create, extract, sort, update and query a database is known as a database management system DBMS. It saves our time and energy. There are minimal chances of committing errors and even data handling becomes very fast and efficient. Students know the fact that Microsoft SQL Server is an example of DBMS that serves database requests from multiple users. Students, let us now understand what makes up a database. The structure of the database is made up of fields, records and files. Let's take an example of a school information system. A column with a table that contains only one type of information is called a field. In the database of school information system, roll number, name, address, date of birth, etc. are the different field names. A collection of fields makes one record. A record displays all the information about a single entity. In the given example, a student's roll number, name, father's name, address, telephone number and date of birth indicate one complete record of a student. Okay, let us discuss field versus record. A file is a collection of related records. A database is an organized collection of related information or data stored in files. In addition to storing data, you can also access, sort and summarize information related to data. Okay, can you quickly tell the difference between a file and a database? There are many two types of database, flat file database and relational database. A flat file database can store and retrieve information. It is not capable of linking the files together. A relational database links separate tables together to get a common piece of information. DMS stands for Database Management System. It is an application software which is used to create and manage a database. Microsoft Access Microsoft Access is the most popular and powerful RDBMS relational database management system which comes as an integral part of the MS Office suite of application. It is used to organize and manipulate data. It organizes data in the form of tables. It provides the facility to create a relationship between these tables using common fields. A relational database enables to prevent duplicity of data. Another important feature of Access is that you can add, update, delete, view data and establish relationship by using forms, find and retrieve data in a desired way by using queries and print data in a specific layout by using reports. Some other popular RDBMS are Sybase, Oracle, SQL, Structured Query Language. Let us understand the concept of relationship with the help of an example. 
To maintain students' database in RDBMS, instead of entering all records in a single table, we split our fields into multiple tables having a common column, such as roll number. The first table is the student information table. The student information table consists of information about students. To enter the details of students' marks, percentage and grades, you do not enter all the fields in a separate table, which have already been entered in student information table. You will take only a common field in the second table. By making a link on this common field, you can retrieve the desired set of records from both the tables. Second table is the student marks table. Notice that the values of the roll number of fields in student marks table are the same as the values in the student information table. You can define a relationship between both the tables using the common field, that is roll number. In this way, RDBMS reduces the duplicity of data. Can you quickly tell me the different database objects in MS Excel? Students, let us discuss the advantages of RDBMS. Okay, let's now discuss the features of Microsoft Excel. Excel provides the facility to break large information into small parts so that it is easy to access the information. Data redundancy, duplication of data is reduced. It increases the efficiency, speed and flexibility in searching and accessing information. Access facilitates sharing of data. Different users can use the same database to extract data according to their needs. Access provides data security features and maintains integrity which is useful to make our data more consistent and reliable. Access provides the facility to create a data form so that the user can enter the required information in the respective fields. It also reduces data entry errors. Queries help you to get information on a specific topic from the information stored in the database. Reports allow you to present the data in a meaningful and summarized manner. MS Access has many automated wizards and help in making a new database, tables, forms, reports, etc. To open MS Access, click on Start, then click on All Programs, then click Microsoft Office, and then click Microsoft Office Access 2007. When Access opens, you will find the Getting Started with Microsoft Office Access window. In the left pane, the template categories, including the local templates as well as the categories of from Microsoft Office Online are listed. Select the blank database template in the new blank database fetch. You will get a blank database task pane on the right that prompts you to create a file. Specify the file name in the file name text box. If required, you can change the path from browse button next to the file name box. Click on the create button. The database will be created and the name of the database will be displayed on the title bar. When you open a new or existing database in Office Access 2007, the objects in your database, tables, forms, queries, reports, etc. appear in the navigation pane. To view the objects, select all Access objects from the drop-down arrow in navigation pane. The tables tab is always selected by default. Students, let me tell you an important fact that if you do not type a file name in the Save As dialog box, Access adds it for you. Let us now find out how to create a table using templates. One of the easiest ways to create a table is to use a template. A template is a ready-to-use database that contains various types of tables, queries, forms, etc. needed to perform a specific task. Start MS Access, the Getting Started with Microsoft Office Access window appears. Click on Office button and select Open option. Choose a database from the Open dialog box.
click on open option. Click on create tab and then click on table templates button in the tables group. Select a table template, example contact. A table name table 1 is displayed in the window. It contains fields which are relevant to the contacts database. A new tab, table tools is now visible on the title bar. Open data sheet tab, click on the new field button in fields and columns group. The field template task pane appears on the right side. Now select the field from the list that you want to include in the new table. Drag the selected field to the table and drop the field where you want to position it when the insertion point appears. Open Data Sheet tab and click on the View button. Choose Design View option from the drop down menu. By default, ID is the primary key of Table 1. To make some other field as the primary key, right click on the field name and select primary key option from the context menu. Students, please note that the standard file name extension for database in MS Office Access 2007 is .accdb. Now let's find out how to close the Access application. After finishing the work, in Access, click on Close Database option in the Office button menu to close the current database. To close MS Access, click on Office button, then Exit Access option. Let me share a tip with you. It is advisable to mention a short file name that relates to the information you stole in your database. Let me also tell you that to quit Microsoft Access, you can press Alt plus F4 key combination. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. A database is an organized collection of related information or data stored in files. DBMS is application software which is used to create and manage a database. MS Access is the most powerful and powerful RDBMS used to organize and manipulate data. A template is a ready-to-use database that contains various types of tables, queries, forms, etc. needed to perform a specific task. 